r slash ask reddit. What are some things about the military that recruiters don't tell you and tell you? They don't tell you that despite the Marine Corps reputation for being honorable, there are a lot of shady scumbags who join the Marines. A very very large part of your duties will involve cleaning. I was a nuclear reactor operator on a submarine. But mostly I cleaned it. My top insights. They don't tell you the posts around the world where your prospective job might end up. Many jobs only have a few locations they can go. So if you planned on globe trotting but ended up in El Paso, Texas, that's your own fault. They may not tell you how difficult it is to get promoted in your job. Some jobs are extremely difficult to make E5 and virtually impossible to get E6. Others are, relatively, very easy. They definitely won't tell you that certain jobs are prone to permanent injuries. Airborne and air assault sound cool, jumping out of airplanes and helicopters. Frick yeah who are, but virtually every single paratrooper has knee, ankle and back injuries, not to mention the occasional concussion. PTSD is a metherfriker, you better hope you never see combat. Everybody wanna get married in the military, it never really works out don't try it. They are not going to tell you that most jobs are mostly dudes. Your best bet, if you want to ever spend time around women are medical professions. It doesn't matter which one. They won't generally tell you which jobs correlate well to civilian jobs. I think I could go on, but I'll stop here. Mine was fairly honest, but what I will tell you is avoid combat jobs. You'll have a better time in the military, being in supplier or logistics. I was in artillery and we were in the field constantly, it was exhausting. You will be more bored than you have ever been in your entire life while you're in the military. Not all the time, but there will be periods of time where the hours feel like days. They don't tell you that, until you complete basic training, you can quit any time without consequence, though you will never get a second chance to join. They don't tell you that, if you qualify for a job you want, but it's not available, then you should just wait, and come back in a week. Otherwise, as some have said, recruiters are generally blatantly honest. Edit. Also, if it's not in writing, it won't happen. Shady recruiters make verbal promises. It's rare but it happens. Get it in writing. Get it in writing. Get it in writing. Every time that there's a change of command, your most important duty in the world will be to neatly lay out the contents of a Kinex, wait for the incoming commander to come inspect it, repack everything when they inevitably don't show up, then do it all over again the next week. A surprisingly large amount of time during deployments will be spent throwing rocks at cigarette butt cans. We have a professional army in the Netherlands. You don't just get in without going through a tough vetting process. We don't have recruiters lying to us at mouths. They want the best, and if you want in you have to go to the recruiter instead. Most people I know get rejected. They pursue careers in police then which also has a tough vetting process. If that doesn't work they usually work as security, ticket control or city guards. Those usually have lesser requirements. Your knees and back with hurt after one year in. But it's not service related. 360 no scopes are frowned upon. As is a negative K slash D. Sadly if you are a woman there is a strong chance you will be sexually assaulted. And on a much lesser scale the gear is designed for men and can cause hip other pain. Edit this is meant in regards to the US military. There are certain career fields that are only available to officers. You require a bachelor's degree to become an officer. I talked to an AF recruiter and told him I wanted to be a pilot. He just wanted to get me to sign. I would have respected him a lot had he straight up told me that I needed to have a degree and go through a commissioning source to get an opportunity to be a pilot. I would have listened to him had he told me that enlisting would be a good opportunity to get experience and get college paid for. After all this time I never really liked being an officer and had I enlisted I probably would have either spent an entire career as an enlisted person or done 8 years enlisted and then become an officer. They'll tell you whatever you want to hear to get you to sign. If it's not in writing, don't believe it. Sure, we've come a long way about women being in the military. But the sexism is still very 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 much alive. If you don't believe me, consider going on any Instagram photos comments on a military branch's page with a woman in it. Now imagine working in that environment every single day. Deployment is really hard on families. 
I would go far as to say potential recruits should know that a life of service is not conducive to family life 45 day field problems, hardship tours to career, and absolute command of your schedule at all times strongly inhibit parenting and fostering private relationships at home. I've seen people get really angry on the phones. I'll never know why exactly, but chances are it was relationship related. It was never a good sight to see. That a verbal agreement and even a written one doesn't really mean ship when you sign up. I had four friends go into the military right after high school one in the air force, two in marines, one in the navy. All of them, but the navy guy got screwed. The air force guy was promised he would be an aircraft mechanic, but the school never had a seat for him, so he ended up being a carpenter. The marines were promised they would go to basic together and were immediately separated. They were also told their ASVAB scores qualified them for certain jobs and those were never even offered, so they both ended up in the infantry. Everyone cheats when they or their partner is on deployment. You can report any rank bullying, racism, sexual harassment, etc. But it will freak you over more than the guilty person or persons. I think I've met a higher percentage of terrible people in the military than I ever met as a civilian. If you want kids, don't join. I was an army brat, and I could say a whole lot more awful ship about the kinds of men you're raising your kids around, how much deployment sucks, what it's like to have a father with PTSD who treats you like an inferior soldier instead of his daughter, having no idea about civilian life, and struggling to survive when you leave home, and how ship it was to go to 10 schools before I was 15, and for some reason it was a surprise. When I didn't do well. Good fathers don't inflict military life on children. Die mad about it. You aren't fighting for freedom anymore. Sexual assault is absolutely everywhere. I've never met a woman in the military who hasn't been either sexually harassed or sexually assaulted slash RPD. The military also has a bad habit of punishing victims while protecting the accused. If you have a specific job in mind but it's not available you can just come back at a later time and try again. Don't let them force you into a job you don't want, especially on slash packed seamen slash airmen. My recruiter told me that times have changed blah blah blah, they don't cuss, in boot camp, etc. Obviously it was a huge lie that I should have seen coming. Boot camp was hell. If you're injured mentally slash physically, seek help. Don't let anyone ever tell you not to. No one cares about you more than yourself. There's a lot of horrible horrible people in the military, so you have to stand up for yourself and get help when you need it. Even if you think someone does care, which they might, they won't care about you as much as you do, so take care. Don't let anyone violate your HIPAA. That's your business and no one else's. Always 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 write SMR, see medical record, after taking your analysis. You don't have to sign counseling shits. If you think something is unfair then you can make a rebuttal. I guess most of these things are just what I wish I knew before joining. Remember to like, fav, subscribe and ring.